Shemot chapter 27. And you shall make a slaughter place of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide. The slaughter place is square, and its height three cubits. And you shall make its horns on its four corners, its horns are of the same, and you shall overlay it with bronze. And you shall make its pots to receive its ashes, and its shovels, and its basins, and its forks, and its fire holders. Make all its utensils of bronze, and you shall make a grating for it, a bronze network, and shall make on the network four bronze rings at its four corners, and shall put it under the rim of the slaughter place beneath, so that the network is halfway up the slaughter place. And you shall make poles for the slaughter place, poles of acacia wood, and shall overlay them with bronze. And the poles shall be put in the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the slaughter place for lifting it. Make it hollow with boards, as it was shown to you on the mountain, so they are to make it. And you shall make the courtyard of the dwelling place. For the south side screens for the courtyard, made of fine woven linen, one hundred cubits long for one side, and its twenty columns and their twenty sockets of bronze, the hooks of the columns and their bands of silver. And so for the north side in length, screens one hundred cubits long, with its twenty columns and their twenty sockets of bronze, and the hooks of the columns and their bands of silver. And the width of the courtyard on the west side, screens of fifty cubits, with their ten columns and their ten sockets. And the width of the courtyard on the east side, fifty cubits, and the screens on one side of the gate fifteen cubits, with their three columns and their three sockets, and on the other side screens of fifteen cubits, with their three columns and their three sockets, and for the gate of the courtyard a covering twenty cubits long, of blue and purple and scarlet material, and fine woven linen made by a weaver, four columns and four sockets. All the columns around the courtyard have bands of silver, their hooks silver, and their sockets bronze. The length of the courtyard is one hundred cubits, and the width fifty by fifty, and the height five cubits, woven of fine linen thread, and its sockets of bronze. All the utensils of the dwelling place for all its service, all its pegs, and all the pegs of the courtyard, are bronze. And you, you are to command the children of Israel to bring you clear oil of pressed olives for the light, to cause the lamp to burn continually. In the tent of appointment, outside the veil which is before the witness, Aharon and his sons are to tend it from evening until morning before Yahweh, a law forever to their generations, from the children of Israel.